Hey guys, Mabel Tell here. Today I'm drawing my OC in the style of different movies, cartoons, and anime that feature cats. Before I get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, fan art time. This lovely piece is by Echo Spark. Thank you so much for taking the time to draw this and for letting me show it off here. If you draw something you'd like me to see, feel free to tag me or DM me on any of the social media linked in the description. Alright, on to the drawings. So I've done this challenge a couple times before a while back, but with video game cats. Seeing as how I couldn't think of any more video games with cats in them that I had played, I decided to broaden my search a bit. I went through the list I keep of all the shows I've watched for anything I remembered having a cat in it. The first thing I found was my favorite childhood anime, Fruits Basket. I based this off of one of the main characters, Kyo, who was sometimes an orange cat. The style wasn't too hard for me to emulate, because I know it pretty well and it's fairly simple. The eyes were definitely the biggest challenge, as they're a lot more anime than I normally draw. My favorite part of drawing in this style was actually probably the shading, as it's very similar to how I usually shade and highlight, when I take the time to do it. <laughs> The next style I wanted to try was Steven Universe, as I remembered there were cats in one of the later seasons. This one was a bit tougher for me. It's still pretty simple, sure, but sometimes simple is hard to replicate. The eyes again were a struggle, but this time it was because how big and round they are, which is something I have trouble drawing. I really liked doing the ears on this drawing, though, and I think they turned out pretty cute. The third style is based off the movie The Cat Returns, another childhood favorite of mine. This one was a challenge in that I absolutely adore the style of this film and knew I wasn't going to be able to get it quite that good. But this style is also probably the closest to mine, which helped. I hated the outline, so I ended up redoing it and felt better about it. My favorite part about trying to draw in this style was doing the big fluffy cheeks that come all the way down from the ears. The next style I tried is from the anime Your Lion April, aka the anime I rewatch when I want to feel depressed. <laughs> I've always admired the way cats are drawn and animated on this show. At first glance, I figured the eyes would be the hardest part again, but I actually kind of had fun with those. No, the hard part was that the cats have this almost ominous feel to them that I struggled to capture. The shading was also a pain, and it took me a few attempts before I was okay with it. The fifth one is based on yet another childhood favorite, Watership Down, the cartoon version. I originally had another idea for this square, but it ended up being too frustrating, so I went with this backup plan. And it was also kind of frustrating. The style was just a bit difficult to wrap my head around, but I did my best. The colored outline and the lack of fluffy lines didn't mesh well with how I usually draw. I did like drawing the muzzle though, probably my favorite bit.
final style? Wolf Children. I adore this movie. I knew that there was a very brief cat appearance, so I figured why not. This one was a little tricky. Especially the eyes, again. Drawing round eyes is really hard for me, apparently, huh? And finding a good reference image also took a bit of time. Because this cat's only in, like, one scene. Anyways, if anyone's interested in me trying even more styles, feel free to suggest some in the comments. Maybe I'll check them out. Thanks for watching. It was fun to try out some different styles. I think the third one ended up being my favorite. Anyways, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next Thursday.